They were being entertained by a magician at the world's biggest arts festival. On a day getting to and from Edinburgh by train was tricky, with most rail services disappearing. We'll go down and figure it out just now and maybe find alternative uh, means. Well, we're just here going through the motions because I'm going down south and I need to know that I can get a train sometime. Some not supportive of rail strikes. Not good. Um, I commute from Glasgow, so I'm not going to be able to come at work on Saturday. No, not really, if yeah. I'm being honest, because I feel there's other sectors as well. But this lot from Liverpool do. Yeah, yeah, we do. Hopefully they get better pay. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Fight for what they want. There you go. I'm all for it. I pray see the issue of the poverty. It's in a dispute over pay and terms that more than 45,000 rail workers walked out across the UK today. It meant no services beyond the central belt in Scotland. And while stations like Birmingham New Street were slightly busier than previous strike days, places like Portsmouth, Swansea and Blackpool were cut off. The union leading today's strike saying they'll continue indefinitely until a settlement is reached. The call is being heeded all over the country. We'll be having mass demonstrations at various sites over the weekend. And our members are determined to dig in and win this dispute and get a resolution that suits their needs. With just 20% of services running today, the UK government says the unions are hell-bent on causing misery for travellers. Network Rail says a proposed deal it's put forward is a good one, but that demands keep changing. Frankly, the ground is shifting all the time, and that's the thing that makes this really hard to resolve. It's why we believe, put the offer we've put out to a referendum, and then we get feedback from my staff on you know, how they feel about it. In Edinburgh, those running this bright brunch bar are hungry for a resolution. They rely on train passengers, and when they're not as frequent like today, the managers left counting the cost. I've got more staff than customers today, so yeah, we really I'm gonna have to send some people home early. We get a lot of traffic coming directly from the train station, so we're really noticing the footfall has dropped a lot. See, not only are we taking less, but I'm having to let people down because when I send them home early, they might have budgeted for, you know, I know I'm working next amount of hours this week, but actually I'm gonna have to cut that. Job security and contract guarantees what those striking today say they want, voicing their demands in a dispute that shows no sign of departing, with no side willing to wave their white flag.